What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back in another video on the channel, and today, don't laugh at me, I'm not going to laugh at my intro for the first time. Yeah, I am, <laughs> I can't help it, I don't know why I laugh at my intros. Anyway, today is a weird mood kind of day, I got Applebee's, um, I don't know, I, I was doing an Applebee's thing because last week I did the Cosmic Wings, and I kind of wanted to try some of the stuff that I used to eat in college, um, I lived across the street from Applebee's in college, I used to eat all the time. All I ever got were appetizers, so I was in the mood, couldn't get it, I said, you know what, next week, YOLO, let's go to Applebee's and, I don't know, I haven't had it in years, so let's see what's going on, what's what's doing with it. Anyway, if you're digging the content, you like, subscribe, thumbs up, all of that cringy YouTube stuff. But, before I get into the Applebee's, of course, anything that comes out new, we have to review it. So, what we have got today, it's an exciting day for me, it's a special day. Can y'all read that? Yeah, right there. Key Lime M&M's. I... I'm actually a huge fan of key lime pie. I know a lot of people don't like it, uh, but when I go to a restaurant, it's one of the few desserts that I have to order every time. I kind of have that habit. So we had to try these. I found these at Target. Uh, they've been making their way in the stores. I know some people got them early because they were in some stores like called like Sheets, I believe, in New York, but they just finally made their way to New Jersey. Target, key lime pie. I'm not gonna hold y'all. You see what they look like. Let's do it, I'm excited. Yep. I mean, that's for me. They always go the same way. Rarely, if ever, do they miss. They do miss sometimes. But they always just seem to have the flavor profile of things, usually, in my opinion, down. Tastes like key lime pie. I'm getting that little bit undertone of the key lime. The weird thing that I'm missing, now it tastes like the inside, okay, let me show you this real quick. See this key lime pie right here? One of my favorite things about key lime pie is not just the actual key lime filling, but that crust. I don't want to be a food snob, but I would have preferred, and as you can see, I'm still eating it. So, I don't dislike them, but one thing that would have made this for me is to get a little bit of like that graham cracker. The reason I like uh, key lime pie Oreos is because they have that graham cracker shell, which makes it really pop for key lime pie, in my opinion. Nonetheless, if you're a key lime pie person like me, I think you'll like them. I just need that graham. But as you can see, I have no problem. You know, like I usually eat that whole bag. What else is new? Yeah, all right, you like pie. I don't get number ratings, but I do say you can get them. It is not a pass. Um, I don't want to use the word smash. I feel like everybody uses smash or pass, but they're dope. I would get them. I just want to get to my Applebee's. But yes, these will be added to the Rolodex of food. You know what a Rolodex is, because I'm a boomer. It's like a thing that used to have phone numbers in. It's just another way of putting it in your uh, like repertoire <laughs> Boomer speak. Oh, I'm getting old. My birthday's coming. I'm not going to tell y'all when it is, though, but it actually is almost here. Anyway, let's do what we do best. One of my favorite things that I always got at Applebee's were the appetizers, and one of my appetizers I always, always got was the spinach and artichoke dip. It's very self-explanatory. You probably had it before. You know what it's like. Very cheesy spinach. Nobody cares about the artichoke aspect, but you still eat it anyway because you don't know why it's delicious. Always served with some nice warm tortilla chips without further ado spin dip y'all know the vibes oh it tastes like college <laughs> mm. It's a good spin dip. It just is, you know. If I had better, of course. I'll be honest with you. Even getting into this, I'm I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna like be floored by anything. But this is just like for the nostalgia, for the I used to eat here all the time. But Applebee's one of that things where it's like, you know what you're getting. You're getting decent food. 
You know, it's nothing like, oh my goodness about it. But I was really in the mood. Get you a big, there you go, look at this. I can't even see, I dropped it, didn't I? I know I did. Get a little of this, uh, not fresh salsa. It actually does taste fresh. I know when I was in college, this was like just straight Tostitos, but it don't taste like Tostitos. I'm seeing a whole fruit piece of fruit, tomato pieces in here. All right. A little jalapeno I see in here too. Did they, did they revamp? I don't know why I picked this funny looking nacho chip. One of the things that, and even in New Jersey people still do this, um, Applebee's after a certain time of day, certain months, they do half price appetizers and it was always a, a thing that people did like after they went out or if they like went to the movies, you went to Applebee's for like half price apps. It just reminds me of that. You know, go in there with like 10 bucks, you get like a ton of apps. Hmm. I think I have to go to the only entree that I've ever gotten from there. And it used to bang. And you see me pointing at it already because I'm ready to have it. Fiesta Lime Chicken. If you don't know what it is, it's very simple. It is a chicken breast which they add like some Monterey Jack cheese and there's a, a, a sauce. I can't remember what the sauce was, um, of course. And then they have the lime and the salsa and they serve it with like some yellow Spanish rice. It's, I mean, it's about as Spanish as I am, but it's still, I don't know, this thing right here, it just, I don't know, it just banged when I was younger. And you gotta get that salsa on there too. But you see, you gotta squeeze that lime. Make sure you get that. I love lime. Let's get a little of this. Where's my... See, why don't they use this? This is what I, okay. Let me, let me, let me double back. Pico is always the play. And it comes with this. They should just make that the play for everything. Love my Pico. Well, that's very, very cilantro and lime. You know, if you don't know, that is always my play. How am I gonna eat this? <laughs> I got a knife, but you know what? That's how we do it. It's one of the weird things about eating on camera. You have to eat backwards and nobody eats like this in real life. Forgot what that sauce was called though. I gotta look that up. If anybody knows, I know some of y'all used to have Fiesta Lime Chicken. I wasn't the only one. Like a creamy. That right there. It's like a, like a souped up Taco Bell, to be honest. What I did, after I splashed myself in the face with rice, was I did the, um, the two for 22, um, where you get an entree and two, or two entrees and an appetizer for $22. So, I got the Fiesta Lime chicken in there, and obviously, you had to get the spinach and artichoke dip. You know what I'm saying? Have y'all ever had this? This is what I always used to do. This was the play. You get some of that. I forget what that sauce is called. You have to look that up. Mexi Ranch. That's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. And halfway through eating it, I'd always do this. And there's like little, you can see them on the bottom, like tortilla chips. You want to know a real uh, big boy tactic. What I used to also do was I would get a bun, a roll, and put that on bread. Fire. I'm telling you, I don't have no bread. Just trust me, you have to line chicken sandwich. Just put that on the menu. Gotta get those chips in here too, though. This is the play. Yeah. I don't know why they put everything on the bottom. Probably because it won't shift around because I got it to go. I used to eat a lot of Applebee's as a kid, or a kid, as a college student. I don't know what it is about this one. 
Now into this. We're all friends here. Mm. I need a drink too. Drink of the day. Went with ginger ale. No soda today. Also, if you watched yesterday's video, it was my dad's birthday yesterday. Um, I like to personally say thank you to anybody who wished him a happy birthday. Um, at his party, I actually showed him all the messages and he said thank you back. Um, no joke. So, we're all fam. I told him that. Why did I just do that? I told him that. I told him everybody said hello. And he was very appreciative of it. So thank you again. Where am I going? I want to get... I don't, I'm just fat, bro. Like, you gotta do this. You gotta do this. A little spin dip. A little like, Mexi Ranch. Mexi Ranch? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. The other entree that I got right here is the bourbon chicken and shrimp. I've always liked bourbon chicken. I wasn't sure what to do with this. It comes with mashed potatoes, I think. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it sounded better than it looks right here. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, but we're gonna try it. You know, it's for the content. We gotta do what we gotta do. I wasn't sure what to pick. So let's get in here. I really should have thought this through with the, I should have cut this beforehand or something, right? But it's got sauteed mushrooms, sauteed onions. If you don't like mushrooms, I apologize in advance. Your boy loves his mushrooms. Let's do that. Let's get a little of it. That's a lot of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Where is my... Oh my goodness. It's very... This is very difficult to eat without you're just sitting with a knife and fork. Like, I have steak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Alright. Bourbon chicken. Bourbon shrimp. Let's see. That's not bad. I like their mashed potatoes too. I forgot that. Funny enough, never ate onions as a kid. Now I love them. This is very hard to cut like this. I just want y'all to know that. Luckily I have some pretty sharp knives, steak knives. Get a little of that. Get a little of that. Get a little of that. Let's do a little of this. Let's get a little of this. Chicken breast is very juicy. Shrimp's got good seasoning to it. Nice grill, saute. That's not bad. And those garlic mash, it never go, it can never fail. And they got the red skin potatoes, which I love. That's really not bad at all. Y'all feel me what I'm talking about when I say Applebee's though, like, I don't know. I'm not big on like, don't try that at home, the chain type of restaurants, um, but they're always like a safe play. You know you're going to get like an okay meal, it's going to be good. You know, this is actually pretty good. I surprisingly really like this though. W's on both, for sure. Set up for me real quick. Now, now we're on to our other entrees. This is very near and dear to me. This was like the OG uh, only other meal that I got. Was the Applebee's riblets? I don't know what it is about these. It's kind of like a McRibbish vibe where I like them and I don't know why I like them. But they're good sized pieces. I got the Texas barbecue on here. And I 
now we've got that little bone piece. So it's just nice and grilled. It's just like a safe, easy order, and it's always good. A yeah, nice meaty piece of it. All right? When I was in college, this was like baller eats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I think this meal, the riblet platter itself is like $15. The two for 22, I should do that. I would split it with like my roommate when we get lunch for each and like appetizer. But this is like out of my budget. So I always felt special when I went to Applebee's. I used to get this other meal too. But they don't have it anymore. It was like a bowl but they don't have this specific bowl. It was like a sesame chicken or something like that. No, but it wasn't on the menu when I looked. You know what I'm saying? See how meaty this rib is? This guy hit the bone. On the side, we got fries. We got the cheddar, broccoli, um, really, it's just steamed broccoli, but you can get cheddar as an option. And if you tell me I can put cheese on anything, that is the biggest piece of broccoli I've ever seen in my life. I'm always going to get it. So, it's a big old piece of broccoli. Got to get cheese, though. Mmm, butter on there, too. Mmm, alright. Does that make me healthy now? Gotta make sure we got our veggies in. I got back to this riblet. Is there anyone out there who has never had Applebee's? I feel like this is just one of those places. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it, but. I was watching one of my favorite shows that no one else has ever watched, which is Friday Night Lights, the TV show, not the movie and not the book. In the show, the only restaurant they eat at, several people work at, is Applebee's. And they said something about riblets, and I was like, you know what? Riblets might be to play. I regret nothing. That's really good. Come back to this one. I'm not too surprised. I don't really have high hopes for this, especially. Very good. Fiesta Lime Chicken's always good. Riblet. Oh, it's a W. And you get like a pretty, like there's like five, like five or six big pieces. Yeah. Mm. Not another piece of bone. Got one more entree. And this made absolutely no sense, but I I didn't know what to pick. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, like I'm not real versed in the Applebee's menu and I wanted to try their four cheese mac and cheese which came on the side So I had to get this. I also got garlicky green beans, which is what it says and a six ounce sirloin It's medium rare. We're gonna dig into that You know, I love my steak It's a very small steak by my standards, but we do have a lot of food here and this whole thing You know, I got a pretty decent amount of food. I think it, ran, it only ran me like maybe Maybe like $40, $45, something like that. $44, I think it was. It's impossible to cut this like this. Uh. Oh. 
Okay. You know what medium rare is? That's what medium rare looks like. Pink inside. Pretty juicy piece. You shouldn't eat steak with your hands, by the way. But I had to do something. I want to see her cutting on this plastic. But this isn't why I'm here. All in all, decent steak. Why I'm here is to see what's going on with this mac and cheese. Now, they use penne noodles, which I'm not a big fan of. You see them on the side. Mm, this just doesn't really look. Okay, it's creamy. It's got bacon, which, you know. Alright, you know what? It, it doesn't look that bad. Looks like it's got a little bit of something to it. So this is a four cheese mac and cheese with penne noodles. That's rich. That's not bad. It's not bad. You know, is it my mom's mac and cheese? No. I don't expect that. But the bacon on there is good. You can see how much like, creaminess is on there. And it's like white, sharp cheddar cheese, which I like. It's not like that. It doesn't taste bland. It has flavor to it. And I've had a few store kind of mac and cheeses that don't really taste good at all. I would eat this. With the steak. And these garlicky green beans. Looks like they use garlic and olive oil, which is right up my alley. Kind of how you would do asparagus. I'll tell you what. Better mac and cheese than I thought. Again, not mom's mac and cheese. I'll say that right off the bat. But, a respectable mac and cheese. A decent mac and cheese. I'd eat it again. That would be good on a burger. I wonder if y'all can do that there. Definitely would bang on a burger. Last but not least, the mozzi stick. Mozzarella stick. Good amount of cheese. There you go. All right. Not much breading. Uh, I like mine a little more breaded. Still not necessarily bad. Mostly stick. Also, for some reason, my meal came with a breadstick. I don't know why. So, nice little crunch to it. All right. Y'all hear that? Very Olive Garden. <laughs> I know people love Olive Garden breadsticks. All right. I don't know why this isn't my food. See if I can get, we got some marinara sauce, so might as well. That's actually pretty good too. Surprisingly, it's not that bad. It's actually good. I do not feel I've had worse meals on here. I don't want to call out any specifically because people seem to think I like everything. Uh, there's one in particular that comes to my mind when I have like I've had a bad experience and I probably won't go back there again. I would eat here again. If anybody knows what it is, if you've been watching that long, you can write it in the comments. I will answer yes or no, but I'm not going to say it on the video because I feel bad, which I shouldn't. But I don't know. I'm different. Come back here. We have a big other show. The one thing I have to be careful with, especially with the spinach dip, is the I can notice really, really like how salty it is when you eat too much of it. Still delicious. Riblets are so messy. The surprise phenom, though, was definitely, definitely this bourbon 
chicken with the shrimp. Then you only get like five pieces of shrimp, which is to be expected, but. Hey, come here. That's a mushroom. Look away if you don't like them. It's funny, I feel like, oh, there's a shrimp. I'll tell you this, <clears throat> if you want like some decent food, and you want to break the bank, I think the two for 22 is a W. I got this, spinach in the artichoke dip, with the steak and the mac and cheese and all that, and the bourbon chicken was a part of that. The Fiesta Lime I got on my own, the Riblets I got on my own. So, I know most people don't eat as much as I do, but in this day and age, they do grub hub, we eat all that stuff, you don't have to go sit down. If you do want to go sit down and be my guest, like I said, this was very popular for me in college, and it tastes like college, you know. Living where I live, it's not necessarily like <clears throat> my first choice anymore, but it's still good. Like, and this costs a quarter of the price that it would cost when I get meals from like, you know, the little more higher end takeout type of places. If I went to like a regular joint, um, this would have cost probably double. But I still prefer like my local businesses and things like that. And I'm going to get back into that. I just, I had to get this out of my system. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's been a crazy weekend. You know, birthdays. Um, new sandwich hype. My own birthday. A lot of work stuff. Super hectic. So I just wanted to sit down. Yesterday I didn't have an upload. Which I kind of said I wasn't going to. Um, you know, dad's birthday. I wasn't doing that. But. Again, thank you guys again for your support. You guys have been like really awesome. If you have any questions that you want answered throughout the week with the home cooked meals and a mailbag, we'll be doing that again. You guys have been good with that kind of stuff. But tomorrow, we are back in the kitchen. No more ribbons. Mm. Also, I don't know how, you guys, how familiar you guys are with like rap music or even rap music from like my era, millennials, but there's an Applebee's in my town, I probably only went there once or twice, and I never went for food, I went to watch Sunday Night Football, and I saw Cameron <laughs> at Applebee's, um, I won't go into like any crazy details, he was having a conversation, but I'm not going to air anybody out for what they were talking about, like that's not, but I did see him there, he was a real cool guy, real down to earth, um, yeah, that's about it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not that kind of person, like I'm not going to go into details, but. He was with a couple of friends and they were just enjoying themselves and you know I, I don't like to walk up on like celebrities and be like hey, 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 hey. but you know people were saying hi to him he was just saying hi back he was real cool about it um i try not to bother like celebrities and stuff like that um if i happen to cross paths with them i'll usually say something like you know how you doing like i'm a big fan of your music you know enjoy your night like i'm out you know they try to be like normal people too so but anyway i'm gonna go chill out get ready for the work week Give some of this away. Thank you for telling my dad happy birthday. Maybe he'll get some of this. Man, it's me, boy, King Strats. I love you guys so much, man. Thank you so much for your support again. We'll be back back in the kitchen tomorrow. More content. I love y'all. The hand signs have made it to YouTube.